What's happening guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope money glitch video for everybody to take advantage of. Anyone who's having problems with the SP to MP glitch or any of the other money glitches going on right now, this will probably be your best bet, let me tell you. It is freaking easy. Shout out to the founders, uh, Tuta Facil had the workaround for the facility glitch and then Macclesfield UK had the idea to make this a dupe glitch. All right, so shout out to everybody who was a part of this, links down in the description. Now. You need a special vehicle warehouse for this. Don't mind mine, it's pretty crazy. And I'm gonna show you kind of why mine is a little bit screwed up and what problems it probably caused me. So you need a special vehicle warehouse. You need a special vehicle like, you know, the Wastelander, the Ruiner, which I'm gonna be using in this video. So just something like that. You want one car stored in, you know, your facility that, you know, you wanna get rid of, kind of like an RH8, you know, just so just throw an RH8 in your facility. That means you also need a facility, obviously. You need a friend, you need a 10 car garage or any garage that's full, and you want the car that you want to duplicate in that 10 car garage, all right? And it needs to have custom plates, so I recommend Benny's vehicles, Retro Elegy does sell for the most, okay? So, I'm pretty much, that's pretty much everything. Oh yeah, the MOC with the personal vehicle storage as well, and go ahead and throw a, you know, an RH8 or a Fagio in there too. And that 10 car garage, the same thing. You want the car you want to dupe in there, and you want a bunch of RHAs or Fagios in there as well. So now that we've gotten everything out of the way, go over to your facility, sign in as an MC president, and then you want to go ahead and call up your special vehicle. In this case, we're going to be riding over the Ruiner. Remember, you're going to be getting rid of this special vehicle. So hopefully you got one that you don't care about. The Ruiner, I never use, so I don't really care about it. So I'm going to go ahead and call it up. And once I've called up the Ruiner, I'm just going to simply, you know, drive it just for a second. You know, you don't have to, but it's up to you. I usually do anyways. And uh, now go ahead and return it through your MC president menu. Now, this glitch is mad easy, let me tell you, you just have to do this facility part one time, and then after that, you can just keep duping to your heart's desire, alright? So make sure you got your friend in the session with you, you can do this in an invite only session, close friend session, whatever you want, it's all good, everything works. So, run over to your heist room, and when you get over to your heist room, you're gonna start up one of those jobs, okay? One of those setups or heist finales, alright? Any one of those. We're gonna glitch out the facility, so I'm gonna start up a setup right here. Tell your friend now to go ahead and start up a titan of a job. Um, you know, any Rockstar created mission. So, Rockstar, you know, created mission. Your friend's going to start that up while you're chilling in here. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and wait for him. If you're on Xbox, you might get an auto alert like that, or just send him an or just have him send you an invite. Once you've gotten the alert, tell him to back out of the job. Now that he's backed out of the job, you can go ahead and accept this alert right now because you're going to be accepting an alert to a job that no longer exists, all right? So go ahead and accept the alert. Unable to connect. Session may lo no longer exist. That's a good thing. Now your facility is glitched out. There's a few ways to tell if it's glitched out. Open up your interaction menu. Go to style. It says you cannot access this menu while on a mission. Boom. That's, that's notification right there that it's, you know, glitched. That circle that we just passed right there, that white circle usually has your you know crew emblem if that's not there then that means you're glitched out as well your facility is glitched you can now drive cars you know in there so now what you want to do is go ahead and i was going to use this retro but then i was wasn't sure whether i was going to lose it or not so i just grabbed an rh8 which is what i recommend anybody who does this glitch you know i would recommend you do that just have an rh8 in your facility so grab your rh8 and you're going to want to drive it down uh, over by that yellow circle. Now I'm going to show you a method to actually teleport into the car without having to wedge it with another car. All right, just to make this a little bit quicker. I thought about doing that, you know, doing it the old way. And I was like, you know what, let me show them a new way. So what you can do right here is actually park your car, back it up into this little staircase area right there. All right, just enough to teleport in there to block off the doors. And as you can see, we can teleport. All right, so now run over to your yellow circle and PlayStation, you guys are going to be hitting triangle and X at the same time. Xbox, we just hit A and Y at the same time. If done correctly, you're going to teleport in there for a split second in the car, and then all of a sudden you're going to be exiting the facility. All right? If you teleported into the car slightly right there, you know you hit the glitch. All right? Really not that difficult at all. So now we've spawned outside with our RH8 that is actually the ruiner, technically, okay? So what you want to do now is drive over to that 10 car garage that's full. It needs to be full of RH8s and Fagios and that one car you want to duplicate and it needs a custom plate on it, okay? So this is my garage right here. I'm going to fast forward because it was pretty far. So I'm going to drive up to it and I'm going to get the garage fuller that I need to transfer a vehicle, 
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just drive in there and it's, I'm gonna accept that transfer vehicle alert. And I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer the car that we wanna be duping, my LG Retro Custom, that yellow one, and it has a custom plate on it. It must have a custom plate, guys. This is not a merge glitch. You need custom plates for this or you're gonna make dirty dupes. All right, now right here, I just wanted to show you what just happened. So we actually just put the ruiner in here. So check it out. Look at that, look at the list right there. I have a ruiner in here. And so the LG R or the sorry, the LG Retro Custom actually got moved over to the special vehicle warehouse. So that's what's over there right now, guys. In case some of you were wondering, I wanted to kind of explain how this glitch works. Okay. So that's what we've done right there. We swap vehicles in the special vehicle warehouse, you know, with an LG Retro and a Ruiner. Now go ahead and call up your MOC. If you have this problem like I did, I couldn't actually sign in as an MC or a CEO. It said that I was in passive mode, but I couldn't disable it either. If this happens to you, just go ahead and start up a Rockstar Created Job. Just start up Titan of a Job, which is the normal one we always use. Just back out of it really quick, and then there you go. You should be unglitched, and you can go ahead and call up, you know, or you know, start up your uh, MC or CEO. So drive your MOC over to the special vehicle warehouse. Just park it close by. All right, and remember, we have an RH8 or a Fagio in there. Either one will work. So now you're gonna need your friend again. So go ahead and sign in as a CEO. Invite your friend to your CEO, and you're both going to be going into your special vehicle warehouse, all right? So I was using my other Xbox on this one, so I just have to keep, you know, inviting my friend in there because he wasn't actually there. So now I'm going to go in, and remember, I said my vehicle warehouse is totally screwed up because I got a bunch of big planes and helicopters and stuff in there, so it goes crazy. Now, I'm going to show you what problems I had with this glitch, but first, you know, we're just going to kind of walk through here. Don't mind all that craziness. And uh, yeah, as you can see that lag, look at that, I'm falling through the floor and stuff. I wanted to show you because anybody that who has a special vehicle warehouse like this, you might have some problems with this glitch. It's still gonna work and it's still mad easy, but you're just gonna have to do like one or two extra steps to actually keep rinsing and repeating. All right, so we're just making our way down here over to the part where, you know, it shows all of our special vehicles uh, underground. And check it out, what you should see, what you should see, there we go, is your LG Retro that you swapped. So check it out, the LG Retro. Now look how glitched out my special vehicle warehouse is. I actually am gonna fall right under the map right now. Look at this, all right, I'm just standing here. I'm, re I'm literally just inviting you know my friend into the uh, vehicle warehouse and I just fall through the map, all right? So I do think this is causing me some problems with this glitch, but it still works, just one or two extra steps. So have your friend just stand in there and just look at the car. That's all he's gotta do. Stand in there and look at the car. What this is gonna do is it's not gonna despawn when you drive out and it'll stay there technically when you um, drive out as well. So go ahead and just drive out. Your friend should still see the car and you should be outside, all right? So now here we go, I'm outside and the car didn't despawn. That's because my friend is sitting or standing in the special vehicle warehouse. So now we have my MOC right here. What you wanna do is simply open up your interaction menu and request you know, the personal vehicle from the mobile operations center. So go to MOC, request personal vehicle. Remember I had an RH8 or a Fagio in there. Doesn't matter which one you got in there, all right? So now this is basically like the sacrifice vehicle, all right? We're riding over this, but it doesn't merge the plate. All right, so now it's on the map, as you can see right there behind me, the RH8. Now I can drive my LG Retro Custom right into the MOC. Okay, so just hit right D-pad and you're gonna drive in just like that, all right? And once you've driven in and you see yourself with the car in the MOC, that is actually a duplicate, all right? So right here, boom, we have a duplicate. It's clean because I have a custom plate on it already. I started with a custom plate on this car. That's what you must have. Go ahead and drive it out and drive over to your 10 car garage. Now it doesn't matter if it's close or far away. I mean, if you want it closer, go ahead, but you still have to wait a few minutes uh, to request special vehicle or personal vehicle again from the MOC. So remember, you want this one to be full of RH8s or Fagios because now when we drive this back over there, what's gonna happen is you can go ahead and just swap vehicles. So I'm just gonna swap it for a Fagio right here. And then boom, now I have a dupe saved right there. And I now have a Fagio over at my MOC. So sign, or you know, you're still signed in as the CEO. So just go ahead and request your buzzard and fly back over there if you'd like. Now, here is where I had the problem. Okay, so I walked back in there and look, my LG Retro wasn't there. From what I heard, it's supposed to stay there while your friend is standing there. So if this happens to you guys, easy fix. All you gotta do is both of you have to leave the special vehicle warehouse and then both of you guys just have to go back in together. All right, that's it. You just have to leave and then come back in, both of you. When you come back, you'll see that it's actually still there.
All right. So now to rinse and repeat, your friend is still just standing there. All you got to do now is just drive out. Same thing as before. Simply drive out and there you go. Uh, you know, we're going up to our MOC right here, requesting personal vehicle. Because remember, I transferred the Fagio in there from the garage. So request personal vehicle from the MOC. Now it has spawned over there at the right side of the screen. Now I can go ahead and hit right D-pad and drive this in there. And just like that, we have another successful dupe. All right. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed it because this is an awesome dupe glitch. Uh, you know, take advantage of this if the SP to MP isn't working for you. We have a bunch of stuff out right now. So I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. All right. So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and you enjoy my content. Uh, you know, turn on post notifications, drop a fat like on this video and all my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.